Hey what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. This video is the first real actual devlog for a game I'm currently developing for school. It's supposed to be played with an Xbox Kinect. Uh Thijs, do people even have Kinects? Well, funny you ask, because I've actually found out that no, no one actually has a Kinect. But I'm really just using the Kinect because I thought it would be a fun little thing to work with. If you haven't seen my last video, I advise you to watch it right now. Because it's basically Devlog Zero in which I explain how far I already got and what I want the game to be. In that video, the game looked like this. Now, it looks like this. No, just kidding, I added a neon look to the game and I made the fireballs cooler. As you can tell, there are two different colors. The blue one is supposed to follow your left hand. And the orange one is, as you can probably guess, supposed to follow your right shoulder. The second thing I worked on was the actual connection with the Kinect. Now, I'm going to warn you because you're about to see my extreme summer beach body on screen. Oh, there I am. And I made both colors follow the hands. This was pretty easy because all I had to do was make these objects follow the corresponding hand objects position instead of the mouse position. I also changed the enemy sprites. At first I wanted them to be ragdoll stick figures because I wanted you to feel like the avatar destroying all those scrubs with your fireballs. But I figured rectangular targets would be more fitting for the neon theme. As you can see I also messed around with particle systems. I haven't really worked with them before but this game really helped me understand them better. I also added hearts which share the same neon style as the enemies. If an enemy reaches the middle you lose a heart and a big particle explosion happens. I'm not sure if I want to keep the hearts though. I feel like you shouldn't be able to fail the game. A better way of approaching this would be a score system with like multipliers and stuff like that. But I haven't implemented this yet. Oh and just a random quick note. When I change the player's rate of fire and wave my arms around like I'm the joker about to get a sign dropped. That looks really cool. Uh, and then there's rhythm based patterns that I need to implement. I want to make this game rhythm based and have patterns of targets spawn to the beat of the song. But for now I'm basically looking at either hand placed enemies that enter the screen right on time or they're spawned at a given moment via script. This will probably just take a lot of time and won't be the most fun part of making this game. I searched for a song that would fit my criteria. Non copyrighted, hype and a good beat or rhythm. This is the song I chose. It's called Zigzag by Clarks. I feel like you could definitely punch him in different directions in your living room in front of an Xbox Kinect to this song. The full song will be linked in the description right under a link to my Discord server which you should definitely join if you feel like it. The last thing I've done so far is making sure the game only starts when the Kinect starts tracking you. I've also added that when the Kinect stops tracking you, the music's pitch lowers and it pauses. I mean, the game is still going, but I managed to save the music. When the Kinect starts tracking you again, the music resumes. So that's pretty much how far I've gotten. The next thing I want to do is of course actually pause the game together with the song and make the targets appear in patterns. After that's done, I'd like to add a score system and replace the health system with that. Or maybe I'll make them into separate game modes, I don't know. I also want to add even more light and particle effects and match them to the beat. That's it for this video. The next one will be a devlog for the mobile game I'm working on as well. Make sure to join the Discord if you're interested in chatting with others that share the same passion as you, if you want to share your projects or even if you have video ideas for the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you feel like it. See you next time. Now what if... I oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Oh! Woo!